Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'll be doing an unboxing of Eagles in the Sky. This is by Revolution Games, and from my personal experience, this represents a huge jump in the production from Revolution Games, because this is a full-on big box game, uh, and it's uh, it's actually shrink wrap. So they've got a they've got a shrink wrap machine now. Normally, their their other games are just you know in in, in uh, in baggies or in uh, in boxes that are just you know they're well packaged and they're shipped wrapped and everything, but they're they're usually not shrink wrapped. So they've uh, they've stepped it up a notch. And this is a very from what I've seen, this is a very lovely production. And we're going to dig in and find out what you get in this World War One. Uh, it's a two player card driven game. So let's uh, let's check out what you get inside. So Revolution has always made some very beautiful games. So this one doesn't look like it's going to drop the ball on that score by any stretch. It's a deep box. It's probably about a two and a half, maybe three inch box. All right, so we start off, we've got the campaign game rule book. It's a very small book, probably about 12 pages. It's on, uh, it's full color. 12 page, yeah, 12 page rule book. Uh, again, this is for the campaign game, but it is uh, a very, um, kind of a matte finish, which is very nice, because there's not a lot of glare. And covers how to uh, take the role of commander of a squadron, uh, perform five days worth of missions, take into account losses, pilot fatigue, and the direction of higher headquarters. So you end up with a, um, you know, playing playing scenario after scenario in a campaign, that's, that's pretty nice. So how to set up and play a campaign, campaign game sequence of play, mission determinations, weather encounters, so set up the whole variabilities of the campaign. And then how to carry over between, so you got advancement and promotion, repair replacements and recovery, events, special events, engagement special events, and you get a campaign launch sheet. I'm sure there's more of those that you can download or they're in the box. So very nice. You get that before you get the rules. So now we have the engagement rule book. And this one comes in a little bit bigger. Let's see, about 20 pages maybe? Nope, 24. It was off by a few. Again, nice matte finish. Very good quality. Lots of full color uh, graphics where needed to give you a little better understanding of the various things. Here's the, the uh, how to use the cards, the pilot counters, uh, how to set up play, sequence of play, initiative, random events. This is for two players, so I'm not sure how much hidden information there is, or if you can just true solo it playing both sides to the best of your ability. Um, very cool. It incorporates altitude. So the rules do take up most of the most of this book, it looks like. Uh, no, we got some scenarios, so let's see here. Yeah. So starting on page 20, we get the historical scenarios section. Uh, scenario one. Oh, scenario one is solitaire. So they do have some, a, at least a training solitaire, solitaire experience. Uh, you're going against some balloons in the German front lines. This is a solitaire scenario consisting of three balloon busting engagements played consecutively. Each engagement uses standard rules with the following exceptions. And then it goes on to, to break down what you wouldn't do. Um, the rest of it appear to be two player. Uh, scenario two, scenario three, they're not named. Scenario four, uh, <clears throat> Let's see, there's seven, eight scenarios. And then we have uh, various aces, uh, ratings and abilities. Of course, you got Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron, Werner Voss, Ernst Udet, Bruno Lurzer, Lurzer, what a Lurzer he was, Rene Funk, Georges Gyne Gynemer, uh, my French is horrible. Raymond Collishaw, James McCudden, Eddie Rickenbacker, and Frank Luke. So you got eight, or four, and six. 
one for the four for the allies, further for the axis, six for the allies. There you go. And we've got a pad of campaign log sheets. If you want to play in the campaign mode. Nice big thick pad too. Lots of campaign sheets here. And you got the squadron log book. Another nice thick pad of squadron log sheets. They are single sided, so you can make notes on the back if you want to. Log your pilots, aircraft, any damage that they've carried over. Then we've got the Eagles in the Sky player chart one. Good, good thick card stock, but it is a, it is a matte finish. It's not very shiny. You're not getting a lot of glare off the lights here. It's got your weather table, weather effects table, campaign sequence of play, the campaign setup. You got your damage table, your encounter table. Replacements, fatigue, safe return. And we've got, we've got a lot of stuff in this box. It's pretty cool. So then we've got the Quiet Sector campaign. It's got campaign events, missions. The Normal Activity campaigns. These are campaign reference charts. The Operation Michael campaign and the Cambrai campaign. Cambrai. Engagement chart, engagement sequence of play, engagement setups. This is just if you're playing an engagement, I gather, which are where's a campaign is a series of engagements. Engagement table, engagement year, engagement month, zones. You can randomly determine these altitude, maneuver cards, and engagement victory chart. And then we've got a random events table. Backed with aircraft in service dates. So these are the various aircraft, I believe, in the game and when you can use them historically when they were available and in, in use. So Snoopy's Sop with Camel was around for the whole war, 17 and 18. So. And then we've got a display, marker display for German aircraft, mission aircraft, squadron aircraft A, B through F. And that's single sided, of course, because that will set off to the side. And we've got one here for the Allies mission and the squadron aircraft. And now we've got our counters. There are lots of counters here. No, we don't. It's a board. So we've got three sheets of counters. And they are very thick. They are not pre rounded, they are not pre, you know, pre punched. You will have to. Probably. Well, they punch pretty cleanly, though. You could round them with an Oriental Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the only tool for the job, to uh, to give those a little less of a rough edge. But they really punch pretty cleanly, actually. So they're they're in single strips of five. So that it's not like other counters where you really got it. They're held at the corners. You don't really have to uh, to really cut them from the sprue, as it were. So this is counter sheet one. And play. The counters are double sided and they flip. They flip top to bottom instead of side to side. So this is in Newport 17. And is it the same? Let's see. So we got 1F and 5556. One F five 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 six. So it's got its, its ratings are there together, but it does have a B next to it. So no, it's it's all got a B. So it looks like they're double sided but identical. But maybe they were reduced on the other side or something. But I'm not seeing any kind of pattern. So anyway, here's counter sheet one. These are the planes, and there's our balloon. We'll be busting in that solo scenario. And backside, even though I believe they're all the same, let's just double check that. A false DX2 5855 five, five, five is 5855. Five, five, so, seem to be identical on both sides. And then we've got a sheet of markers here. So we've got our pilot, pilot markers, 
a generic green marker, uh, green pilots, turn tracker, climb progress, medium altitude, treetop altitude, high altitude, low altitude, uh, guns jam, Lewis gun, ammo low, bomb, tokens, Pilot wounded, just various markers that you're going to need during the game. Engine hit, structure hit, wings hit, and then targets, targeting markers, and encounters. So there's increment one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see that. All right, and then we've got a game board, a mounted game board. Wow, very cool. This is a four panel game board. So it's not very complex in terms of it's not like a you know a hexagonal map. So we'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit here. Just take a look at this. So it's the eagles in the sky. So we've got our altitudes here: treetop, low, medium, high, and then you know, they're tallied. I guess these different uh, engagements here where the planes are pairing off or grouping off against each other and then when planes are shot down or have a safe return they're marked here and then you've got a, got a turn tracker right here as well sequence of play is written on both sides so both players can watch it or follow along I should say uh, and each side actually has shot down and safe return as well so pretty 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 cool I like how each side kind of responds, you know, faces the other player. Um, only downside is if you were, like I said, if you're true soloing both sides, then, you know, you'd be seeing things upside down. So maybe you just play with the board the other direction. But uh, anyway, so that's the board. And then since this is a card driven game, we have cards, of course. We've got two decks here. Take a look at those. All right. So they are. Pretty, pretty decent thickness cards. Standard poker size, it seems like. And just for an example here, you got the different cards and their numbers. This is a barrel roll. Wing over. Extra plastic here. Static. Free of charge. So these are cards through 110. So you got two 55 deck cards here. So card one, cards jammed. Our guns jammed. And then you got a turn. And obviously this is all going to be explained in the rules. But uh, I like the graphics on there depicting what you got. And it seems to be the cards are shared between players. So there's not allied cards and access cards. Special always has a rating of 4 for a metal. Very cool. Anxious to see how this one plays. A very nice production from Revolution Games. Well done. All right, let's take a look at the other deck real quick. We did a few, just randomly power dive and steep climb. What's we got here? Half loop, wing over. Cool, anxious to see how this plays. Anyway, if you pick up a copy of Eagles in the Sky from Revolution Games, you are going to get those 110 cards that control the game, since it's card driven. You're gonna get that uh, functional two by two panel game board, mounted game board, one sheet of markers, two sheets of airplane counters, and one balloon. You're going to get the Allied and German airplane aircraft and campaign displays. You're gonna, excuse me, mission and squadron aircraft. You're going to get the random events table card, the engagement sequence of play reference card, the campaign two double sided so four campaign setup guides, player chart one, you're only going to get one copy so you got to share, you got to play nicely with your opponent, and player chart two, you only get one copy of this. And then you're going to get the big bundle of squadron log sheets, a big bundle of campaign log sheets, you're going to get that engagement rule book and the campaign game rule book. And that is everything that comes in. Eagles in the sky. 
Nice big box production from Revolution Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!